If your fabric has a pattern, such as a stripe, floral, or plaid, it will have to be cropped. Using photo editing software, such as Irfan View or Photoshop, crop the fabric to a vertical and horizontal repeat. If your fabric does not have a full repeat, you cannot crop it. Earfun View, shown here, is a free software program which can be downloaded from the lounge on our website. We'll locate the fabrics that need to be cropped from our client's folder. We'll zoom out just one click so that we can see the entire perimeter of the sample. We're looking for one vertical and one horizontal repeat. You'll notice this motif is repeated here horizontally and it's repeated here vertically. We're going to start our cropping by holding down our left mouse button in the top left corner, click, hold, and drag and just drag a box on the sample. This box can be changed by placing your cursor on the side or the top or bottom and moving it in or out. We're going to move this one out and this side in. Whatever you leave at the top of your cropped box will appear at the top of your treatment. Let's move this bottom one up now so we have one vertical and one horizontal repeat. When you're satisfied with the cropping, click Edit, Crop Selection. Then click File, Save As. We're saving the cropped in a different file name so that we can distinguish it from the original, which we do keep in the client's folder in case we need to crop a different section of it. To distinguish the two, use your little shorthand. I use CR for cropped. Then click Save. Next we'll crop our striped fabric. We'll open that. Watch out for any little wrinkles or flaws or shadows. For instance, right here, there are some little specks and shadows, so we don't want to crop that area. For a stripe, we need one horizontal repeat. In this case, it's about four and a quarter inches wide. We'll start here, click, hold, and drag. Doesn't have to be the full length. It can be just that much. Click Edit. Crop Selection, File, Save As. And again, any shorthand you care to use to distinguish the two files. You can see we have the ribbon embroidery here in the original version and the cropped version here. And we'll also have the Linden Hill stripe once we click Save.